Good morning, children. Welcome to the online class of Chapter Preservation, Presidential Park School. We have started with our chapter, Diversity in the Living Market School. We have started Indian and Indian under which we have studied about the invertebrates that is only by the five minutes. We have completed three five minutes, that is Poripeda, Silentrita, Platy, Elvindus. Then, previous class I just gave the comparison of 3 4 5 for you. That is, four is the mind of the audiovisual today. Followed by the fifth one, that is, analytic. Okay, let me mention all the eight five for you all. Five number six. Arthur, four. Seven. Molesta, H, Eighteen, the main. Okay, so usually when I write the name of the file, I just give a break code for you. Poly, Para, Sealant, Trayta, Platy, L, Mintis, Nima, Choda, Anvira, Arthro, Poda, Molesta, Eki, No, Dalmita. Okay, children. You need to follow the order. Once again, I have to remind you for you. Poripeda, Silentrita, Platy, Mintis, Nima, Choda, Anvira, Arthro, Poda, Molesta, Eki, Dalmita. Three are already being done for you. You are going to the fourth one now. Four. Nimayamura. They are also called as as the helminthus. Then they also belong to the worm category. So we have to look at. They are long. And unsegregated. So you need to remember the definition there. That is given, they are given the words there. So Nimashoda is under the name of the phylum. If there are some definition, Nimatodes. That is given. The example is belonging to this part of So, nematodes are defined as the long cylindrical unsegmented worm. Okay. Then, that goes along with the definition of the organism. Then, I told you the nature of tetraplasm. That is given. The same layer will be followed from platinum elements onwards. So, polypera cellular level. Cylindrica diploplastic, that is given the two layer outer ectoderm, inner endoderm. Okay. Then, lateral element is one good, you have to fix in your mind that we will be coming across the three layers in the body layer. So, what is the additional which is taking place from lateral element? Is? It is given the mesoderm. Okay. So, the same property is taken by nematodes also. They are triploplastic and with respect to symmetry, they are called as bilaterally symmetrical. They are called as bilaterally symmetrical. Last class, I explained about the terms asymmetry. There was a doubt for some students, asymmetric, bilaterally symmetrical, bilaterally symmetrical or bilateral version of the radius symmetry. Now, where the question of asymmetry comes, it is A means no, means 
when you divide the organisms from any axis or from any angle, so it is given the angle of division. Okay, the angle of bifurcating an organism is for us symmetrical. So, when you take any angle and try to divide an organism, if it is not possible to get two equal parts, then it is asymmetric. The best example is the word amoeba. We don't use the word asymmetry proper by finding that, but we will be using bilateral and radial. By means two, if you take any organism which are being considered as elongated or lengthwise there and try to divide them into L section. Longitudinal section. Then what happens? We can divide into two equal halves. The best example what we can take is our cell. So from plant and organs, what we are seeing the organisms are long and cylindrical. Usually such organisms which are being considered as long and cylindrical will be going for the term as bilaterally symmetrical. The organisms which can be divided into two equal halves along their lengthwise are termed as bilaterally symmetrical. Radially symmetrical. Where the question of radius comes in, whenever there is a circle, you have got a radius there. Then, in particular, we have got an example called as jellyfish. Okay. So, jellyfish, which is a circular organism, if you try to divide along with the radius there, then what happens? You are going to get the two equal halves. Such organisms are termed as radially symmetric. Few students were under confusion that they did not get what is radial symmetry. So you can just keep in mind along the radius, if you are able to divide, then it is radially symmetrical. So a no by two radially symmetrical along the radius. Then when we take the matters, they are bilaterally symmetrical. That means you can get two equal halves of an organism. When you take the longitudinal section, that is like the LS section. They are triploblastic, three layers to be formed in the body. Then, they have well developed, they have well developed system, but no. But no real organs. When you take platinum nucleus, they don't have true body cavity or no body cavity, hence they will be called as a CO brain. Platinum nucleus is a CO. Examples belonging to platinum nucleus are a CO brain, that means no body cavity. When you come to nematoda, we come across they have got a well developed body system. Means in my number three, we saw all the system. Okay, hooks and suckers. When we take the example of take on there, hooks help in molding and suckers help in absorbing the nutrients there. In case of the hook phylum, that is nematoda or nematodes, the system is slightly developed more as compared to the third one there, that is plant nucleus. They have got well developed system but they don't have any true organs there. So, their body cavity, the false body cavity, the false body cavity of nematodes is pseudo Celo. Pseudo is false, celo is body cavity. Listen, children, nematodes don't have true body cavity, they have got the body cavity, same way for the same nematode. So, what is happening? They have got the false body cavity. You feel that there is a body cavity, but it is not really existing. So, such type of body cavity is being termed as pseudo celo, pseudo body locomotive organs in case of the protest ones. That is a good amoeba. So, pseudo always stands for false, pseudo always have to keep in mind as body cavity. The phylum is called as pseudo pseudo, but when you tell examples, then you will tell pseudo pseudo me.
So whenever you are coming across a definition, so be very very careful. No, I tell you. If you are telling regarding the final, then you just tell it as pseudo pseudo. If you are telling regarding the examples, okay. Let me give an example and just explain so that it will be clear for you. When you take the examples belonging to this book, that is ring bomb, pin bomb, asterisk. Asterisk is commonly called as round bomb. And one more is pyramidal bomb. Okay, I've given you the four examples: ring bomb, pin bomb, asterisk, commonly called as round bomb, and pyramidal bomb. So I will tell asterisk is pseudo silo me. I've taken an example belonging to Himal Goda. And I'm telling the boy zero zero men. So you can take any example, and when you take the example of the Madura, then you will be using the word as zero zero men. All these examples belonging to the Madurs are termed as zero zero. Is it clear? So that was regarding the word cavity. Then now when you know about the nature. Depending on the mode of nutrition, then in case of vitamin D, I said if you are pre-living, example planaria, and if you are being considered as parasites, example tapeworm and liver fruit. But when you talk about the four five nematoda, all are parasites. Most of the organisms, or all, all the examples. Belonging to nematodes are being considered as parasites. That means they require a host. Pyramidal worm is the worm which causes elephant tears. You might have heard about elephant leg. Okay, human beings suffer with a problem of pyramidal worm, and that disease is being termed as elephant tears. That is because of the pyramidal worm. Okay, so when they are parasites, they require host. The maximum host for the nematodes will be the human beings. That is the man. Then you are coming across a new term that is known as all are unisexual. In order to explain this term, then you should have basic idea of the reproductive system. Uni means one, and sexual means reproductive. Reproductive organs. So, based on the reproductive organs, we can divide the organisms as unisexual and bisexual. Bisexual, you have learned, you have done the diagram in class. In case of class seven, hybiscus is an example for bisexual flower. It means that you are having both reproductive system, that is male reproductive as well as the female. So, if a organism contains both reproductive system in a single individual. Then we will be using the word as bisexual. And in case of nematodes, I am telling that they are unisexual. It means an organism if I am taking round ball, that is nothing but as there is. So what is happening? I can differentiate as male and female. Okay. A circle with aroma. Indicates male. Uh, circle with plus sign indicates female. We can differentiate the organism as male asterisk, female asterisk. And one more point to be noted: to identify just based on the external features. What happens? We are going to see the length there. If two organisms are being given, the short one is being considered as male, and the longer one is being considered. As female. 
How do we differentiate nematodes based on the morphology? That is the limit based on the external features. So what is happening based on the external features? The short organism is being considered as the male organism and the longer one is being considered as the female. So this is how you can divide or you can define the unisexual term that and we can just see the length of the organism and then who is the male and the female one. Okay. So what are the points we will do in case of nematodes? They are also being considered as long, cylindrical and they are being considered as unsegmented. So that is they don't have any segmentation in the body. Then when you come to respect of the body, they are regular plastic in nature. Three layers have been found in the body. Then they are being considered as the pseudocerum, that means they have a first body cavity. Or this system is there. Or this system is slightly different as compared to the bladder and this. But the only thing is that they don't have any true organ system there. So real organs are not to be found there. Then most of the examples belonging to nematodes are being considered as the parasites there. Very important to remove and it's given. When you are asked to give any two features, then you can just take the definition of the particular phylum followed by it. You just don't give the uh, common examples, they are long, cylindrical. Because this common term will be seen in case of 3, 4, and 5. So, just give some unique features which are being considered as exclusive for nematodes to get them that being considered as unique central. Then, four examples are being given. The ring worm, as far as is also being found in the round worm, pink worm is there, five ring worm is there. Then the only example ending with worm, in case of bladder and this was tail worm, it belongs to five number three. All the endings of worm are not the real worms there. Means you cannot classify just by seeing the ending words. So moving to the fifth one, and the leader. They are also long, cylindrical,
the organ system once we are going ahead in case of advancement there we are seeing the organ system level of grade from phylum of phylum that is alveda they are about the true body cavity most of them most of them are free living so when we say most of them are being considered free living then so let's take the examples earthworm earthworm is commonly called as the palmer's friend bird it is also called as the nature worm because it makes the soil fertile then you have got sand worm sandworm is also called as nereis and okay uh let us take the uh, two examples that is the earthworm and one more is we can take leech also leech is a parasite leech is a example which we mentioned in your textbook as a parasitic Anally. So what is the meaning when you are taking the worms character? When you are taking the earthworm, with respect to the advancement, they have got very developed locomotory organs. Okay, we can see the earthworm doing very properly, and when you see the sound uh, sandworm, which is also being called as the nereis, they do move them. So in case of earthworm. If you have seen Rama, Rama Yana, then what happens? How Rama relates to Sita? It is usually Sita. So, Arma has got the locomotive organs, which are being termed as Sita, and these are being referred to as cutaneous Sita. So, the locomotive organs of Arma are cutaneous Sita, and when you go for Sandworm, that is. Fleshy parapodia. So in the rainy season, you might have seen a black colour worm there. This is usually get referred to as jelly in Kerala there. So what is happening? Uh, when you see, it has got the fleshy. It is very uh, soft to touch. It has got many legs. Okay. So what is happening? Para means many, podia means feet. So fleshy parapodia are acting as the locomotive organs. For the sandworm, that is the word. Nere is also there. Then leech is a parasite. Usually, the host will be cattle or sometimes human beings. So this is the point of view. For leech, anybody can act as the uh, host there. Usually, the cattle on the cows and buffaloes you might see the leeches. They know they are being classified as ectoparasite. Because they are being found on the outside of the host there, so cattle and human beings both can be taken as host for leech cattle. Then one more thing that is liver. Excretory organ. This is for the first time I am using the word excretory organs. And in case of the earthworm, in case of the earthworm, the excretory organs are being termed as nephria. Okay. So excretory organs for the first time I am using. Let me just tell the rules on your phylum by Anurida. They are being commonly called as a segmented worm. Common point is given. They are also trilobulacic. They are bilateral, symmetrical. One point of view is the for the true body cavity that is being known as cilio. So, earthworm or anaids are known as a cilio. Uh, uh, Then, most of them are being considered as free living. I have taken three examples: earthworm, sandworm, and the leech bird. So, anything which is edible above, phylum three, phylum four, phylum four. Any example you take 
all the right with both bombs only repeat it round row file number 4 and third term file number 5 so that is how you can just keep in mind which organism we are studying in detail in file of three we are studying about the detail morphology of the organ the groups and samples then i just did a slide diagram that is with the male as well as the female shorter and the longer one when you take the out of there out of is a only animal which is being considered as bisexual means in case of our form we are seeing both the reproductive organs that are male as well as female in a single individual so i told you male you can represent like this then female will be only a cyclic plus cyclic but if an organism is contain both together then what you going to do you going to take a common circle above your showing the aroma and below your showing the plus cyclic so this circle indicates that the organism is a bisexual organism so you can tell in case of the animals aroma is very very special because it's a bisexual anali If you write A, it is written as phylogeny, and if you write it only anally, it means that you are telling about a particular example. Then we are using for the first time locomotory organs. For the first time, I am telling about the excretory organs. Excretory organs, in case of the earth form, it is written as gametophyte. So this is how we are going to know them. And when we come to earth form, that is written as cytogenous seed. When we come to the sand form, it is written as fleshy parapodia. leech it is a blood sucking animal it feeds on the blood of either the cattle or the human that is the mode of nutrition you can tell it mainly depends on the blood of the cattle or the human being we are coming to the fifth phylum that is anaphyla Which is being considered as pretty much the same. 
with respect to previous, they are also being considered as bilaterally symmetrical. If you take an organism, then it can be divided into two equal halves. Then, if you take any of the examples, let me take the example as I'm going to take the example of public children. So, when you take the cockroach, what might I say? So, what is happening? We can divide the cockroach into three equal halves or three body structures. So, first position is nothing but the head. Last year, we have learned. Second is nothing but the thorax. And the third region is nothing but the abdomen. Thorax region, in case of the human beings, is being called as the chest region. When we came about the respiratory system, we learned about the thorax region as well as the chest region. So, what is happening? The arthropods can be divided into three regions or three sections if we call head, thorax, and abdomen. This can be considered as very unique feature for arthropods. First, biggest point of view is in every point, whatever we are taking, in case of the arthropods, there is being considered as unique. So, you can tell the body can be divided into three, that is the head region, thorax region. When you are explaining about the arthropods, please be very specific, you are going to use the thorax. But when we tell about the human beings, they or the higher form of organisms will be using the word as chest region. Don't use for arthropods, the alternative word have become what you have learned last year. And the last portion, that is the abdomen. Then, Here also we have the two body cavity. The two body cavity is only for the zero. In case of arthropods, by mistake if you have stamped any of the cockroach, then what happens? You will find the white colored fluid coming out of the body. They don't have blood like us. The fluid which is being helping in the system in the arthropods is only for termed as the xenonic fluid. Silo is a little bit of body cavity bundle and the fluid which is being found is a little bit of silonic fluid bundle. So, in the body cavity, we are finding the free movement of the silonic fluid. So, the organism, we are coming across a new word, open type of circulation. You need to remember the body cavity is termed as zero. It is filled with a colorless fluid, and that colorless fluid is being termed as silonic fluid. There. With respect to this, we are going to define the open type of circulation. Open type of circulation is a type of circulation in which the this fluid is being called as blood. Okay. But it is not the real blood as like our blood there. When you are telling, you can just tell it as the silonic fluid also. If you mention the word blood also, there is no problem. So, the type of circulation in which the blood flows freely into the body cavity. Into the body cavity. For us, the blood flows into the blood vessels. The circulatory system of human beings contains a heart, blood, and the blood vessels. Here, what happens? We have got the ceramic fluid, which is acting like the blood for them. But what is happening? It is flowing freely into the body cavity due to the absence of due to the absence of blood vessels. So this is a special point to be noted for other points you can tell. What is open type of circulation? The type of circulation in which the blood flows freely into the body cavity due to the absence of blood vessels is called as open type of circulation. Example, this is clear. I started with the definition called as open type of circulation. So, when I usually give a definition then, it is my duty to give an example then. Let me repeat. Open type of circulation is a type of circulation in which the blood flows freely into the body cavity due to the absence of blood vessels is called as 
open type example as well. Then we will be coming from the word called as excretory system here also. Excretory organs. And as I have given the example of cockroach for the explanation of other forces. Man Fijian. So the excretory organs are malfusion tissues. In case of iPhone, that is file number five, I told they talk about excretory organs. And excretory organs in case of analytics was being considered as bacteria. And when you come to other codes, you have got the example of the malfusion tissues there. So, malfunction tubules are acting as a excretory organs for other pores. Then, let me give the biggest number. I am taking only one example, sir. Which are the examples which can be included under other pores? How much has been given? And very important to be noted ants and honeybees. Ants and honeybees are being taken as the group of insects. Which gives a very important lesson for the human beings. Then. Ants are known for discipline, they are also known for the social life. Then. Human beings were being considered as nomadic in the ancient times. Then. To live in group, to live in society, and discipline life was being started from the ants. Then. If you have seen anywhere ants, what happens if they find a particular particle or a small particle of food also? What happens? The whole group comes and tries to collect the food. Then. And honeybees, they work together, social organization, discipline is being learned from these two small creatures. Small but powerful, this is the important lesson to be noted. So, ants and honeybees also belong to the other parts you can tell. Butterfly, very beautiful to look at, and their wings are very, very colorful. They help in pollination process. So, the pollination of the seeds and all. Is made because of the insects you can tell, and butterfly also contributes to the process of pollination. Along with that, you can take the example of dung beetle. Dung beetles are being found on the cowder. Cowder is acting as a manure for the soil, you know, or for the soil, it helps to make the soil fertile. So, if you have seen anywhere the field at all, what will happen? The waste which is being excreted by the animals is being put in the field. Waste. So what happens there? Then we are seeing the black and insects. So those black and insects are nothing but the dung beetle. They help in maintaining the fertility of the soil. So it can fall as they help in decomposition process. Decomposition is nothing but breaking down and making the soil fertile. Very important to be noted. Females cannot forget other bones because they are very much found on silk. Silk plays a very important role in the traditional system. And mycelium silk is very special there. So, when you take with respect to the economic value of the country, so what happens? We stand second in terms of silk there. So, silk is the best example for the increasing the economic value of the country. Then, we have got one more example called as lack insects. This lack insects plays a very important role in giving a product called as lac and these are usually used for the purpose of making cans, but it can be sprinkled, then lac toys are also available. So, when you take the examples belonging to this group there, most of the examples are being considered as very very important, though they are being considered as very small in nature, the contribution for they do is being considered as very very special. Okay? Just let me sum up the file number. File number 6, that is nothing but Arthropoda. The animals with jointed feet are called as Arthropods. Arthros means jointed and Poda means the feet. Then, this is the first biggest file. When I am the first biggest, it is with respect to the numbers. You have got many examples with it. Only few have mentioned in the examples there. You can take a spider. Then, what is happening? The number is being considered as more because of one reason they are being capable of adjusting to all type of climatic conditions that is required. They have got a wider appetite. They are fibroblastic, bilayers, 
they are bilaterally symmetrical. I can divide into two equal parts. The body can be divided into three segments. You can tell head, thorax, and abdomen. The replacement curve for thorax for the higher group of organism is under the chest. You can tell. Then they have got the excretory system. The animals even have got the locomotor system. That is under the legs. You can tell. So when I told the bee, that is under these are the locomotory organs for the organisms that is in the arthropods. I forgot to tell about the locomotory organs. I directly started with the feed. Them. So you can just take the pattern word also. They are about the locomotory organs. Then they are about the excretory organs also. Those excretory organs are taken the example of the cockroach and are given you malpigian tubules. That is the excretory organs. Then the very important definition to be noted. For the arthropods, this is called open type of circulation. Open type of circulation is being shared by the next five months. What we are going to learn tomorrow. Day. So arthropods and mollusks both follow the open type of circulation. They have got a fluid which is being considered as blood, but it is not the true blood. That blood, colorless blood, it is being termed as ceramic fluid. So definition: the type of circulation in which the blood flows freely. Into the body cavity due to the absence of blood vessel is called as open type of circulation. Then they are also being considered as unisexual. They are not the male as well as the females when you go for the differentiation. Then the best example is given when you take a honey. You can find the male and you can find the female also. So the female is being termed as a queen bear and the male is being termed as a drone. So you have got the queen. Who is going to dictate the whole community there? And drones are there, and poor workers they keep on working, and they make us happy by collecting the honey. So ants and the bees, please don't forget social life, discipline, what the human beings have learned. It is from this group. Dung beetle is an example which helps the farmer along with finding the pie. That is even a third one. Then we have taken the example of flat insects also. Then silk worm also has been taken. This also contributes to the economic value of the country. Then, if the country has to progress in terms of economics, then the insects also contribute. That is, the silk worm. So, silk worm is taken from sericulture. This is the branch which deals with the grouping for the production of the silk worm. So, we have done three points today. That is, the Nematoda, Arthropoda, Arthropoda, 345. That is, platyl with this Nematoda and Annelida, or can be considered as the worms group. Then this is under the special group with respect to number. Tomorrow, I will be starting with the five number seven, that is Mollusca, as well as the Echinoderma. Echinoderma has been considered as a very shortest phylum with respect to the features. Then, so see that you learn the important things with respect to the features. Then, see that you learn the terms. If you find that, so see that you learn the terms. If you find that. You have not understood any of the point yet. Then you can just text me so that tomorrow I can just explain you with whatever is being considered as a difficulty there. Thank you, children. Stay connected. See that you keep on reading. Be at home and be safe. Thank you.